What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I have a really important uh, story to talk to you guys about today. And this actually happened to one of my family members. Uh, she went into a store, got a gift card, and then when she got home and tried to use the gift card, the gift card didn't work. It didn't have any money on it. And so she went back to the store and told them that the, the gift card's not working and there's no money on it. And so they had to open up an investigation and it was going to take about 10 days, I think 10 business days in order for them to come to some type of resolution and refund her money. So just think of this situation here. You go into a store, you buy a gift card, and let's say you buy a $50 gift card, and then you find out that there's no money on the card. Now you're out of that $50 for another couple of weeks because you have to wait for them to do an investigation. And so this is happening more and more across the US. And so I wanna just send out this alert. I'm gonna show you guys a video clip. They're gonna be talking about this scheme and how these individuals are stealing gift cards and then putting those gift cards back in the store. They'll explain this whole thing in, in this video clip and then we're gonna talk a little bit about it. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC show live. Okay, so let me show you this clip first. This is a report from Fox 5 in Virginia, and they're gonna talk a little bit about how this how this happens, how people are, are being defrauded when it comes to buying gift cards. Here we go. A reminder to be careful with gift cards. Fairfax County Police announced an arrest of two men in a scheme to take customers' money by placing fraudulent gift cards inside Target stores. Fox 5's David Kaplan diving into this one for us tonight. He's live at the Target at Springfield Mall. Uh, Kenneth, good evening to you. It was one week ago today when Target employees said they noticed two people that were sort of fidgeting in the area of the store where they keep all of the gift cards. Those two people, according to police, happened to match the description of two people who were found earlier that day doing the same thing at the Target store in Manassas. Fairfax police eventually came detained, then arrested these two men. Now, when they searched the car that these two men were in, they found what you're looking at right now, just under 1,000 gift cards that police say when purchased would not put money onto the gift cards, but rather into the suspect's account, an alleged scheme that police are calling complex. Police tell Fox 5 they have reason to believe there could be more to this investigation rather than these two stores. The key reminder from police tonight, when you buy those gift cards, especially to that barcode on the back, pay close attention. There were actual Target gift cards that were empty that they had taken at some point from somewhere uh, and then loaded them up, you know, or they, you know, installed them on the shelf. So they, they presented just like Target gift cards, but some of them had, like you said, deficiencies on them where, you know, the labels may have been crooked or uh, one card behind the other had the exact same uh, number on it, barcode number. So after Fox 5 put this story on social media earlier today, we heard from a woman who said she filed a complaint for money stolen from her. She said that she bought 10 gift cards, all $50 for family at a Target store in Prince William County. Nine of them were fine, but when she went to activate one of them, the money just wasn't there. She got a notification that it was spent. Now, we have to stress, it is not clear if this is connected to the arrest in the Fairfax case, but this is a woman who said that she bought a gift card, the money wasn't there. She said she didn't even notice any manipulation on the card. When I looked at it, because I checked again, I mean, I thought everything was wrong with it, but it's still, I mean, I don't see anything with even my son looked at it, and he was like, Whatever they did, they must have scratched something off. But when I looked at it, I didn't see anything. Both of the men who were arrested from this incident behind me face multiple felony counts. We tried to reach attorneys for both of them tonight. No comment as of right now. Both are from California. Fairfax County Police are stressing that this is an active and ongoing investigation. David, do we know if Target is responding at this hour? 
Got a statement from them a little bit ago, Kenneth. They said that this issue is one they are paying close attention to and that this sort of manipulation of gift cards is something that is widespread across the country, across retail right now. They said they're working to sort of harden their cyber defenses and in store, make sure that they are constantly monitoring these gift card racks to make sure that they're not being manipulated, Kenneth. All right, David Kaplan, live for us tonight. Thank you. Okay, so there's a story there. Now, there are a few key takeaways uh, from what was said. Now, first off, they got about a thousand gift cards out of these individuals' car. So basically what they're doing is they're either stealing the gift cards, because if you steal the gift cards and they don't verify you know they don't validate the card the card is not worth anything and so what they're probably doing is going into the stores stealing the gift cards and then once they get outside then they're putting on different barcodes and those barcodes are going directly to the the accounts that they have already set up and so when the person goes into the store and they actually get the gift card and they go to the cash register and they validate the card that number, whatever they're validating, that number is going directly. So the money, so if it's $50, it's going directly to another card. It's not going to the actual card that they they have in the store. So hopefully that makes sense. That's how they're getting away with doing this. And so those individuals are going in the store and all they're doing is putting these gift cards with a fraudulent number on the rack. And so when you go in and you take it, now you have a gift card that is not going to give you any money. And so once you go to the cash register, they validate it, and then you go home and then you try to use the card, it's going to say there's no, there's nothing in, on the card because that money was sent somewhere else and they already spent the money or, or what have you. So the card is worth nothing. And so it's, it's really elaborate what they're doing now with these gift cards. And I always advise if you can, and I know we don't like to put money, like if we're giving someone a gift, we don't like to just give them cash. But I, I mean, we're, we're at a point now where they're starting to do this with gift cards. They've been, actually, they've been doing this for a while because even back when I was working, I was working in law enforcement, we would serve search warrants. We would find these gift cards all the time, a lot of gift cards, but we have to have more. We can't just have the gift cards because people could just collect gift cards after they use them. So. We couldn't just go off that, but when you see like 50 gift cards, wow, that's kind of weird. Why are you collecting these gift cards? Or they would collect anything that has a magnetic reader on the back. So like um, hotel cards and stuff like that. They would collect those as well because that holds information. They can put it through a skimmer and then they can use that just like a credit card or at least the way people used to use credit cards. Now they have that little chip on it, which is good. And then they also have the the no contact pay so that's good and so they've improved technologies when it comes to these these credit cards but gift cards they're still you know they're still kind of behind the curve they're just using the usually the magnetic strip they're not using uh, much else so in the future they're going to have to really uh, change the way things go when it comes to these gift cards and i would just advise at this point i mean this is a nationwide problem target has admitted look they're trying to they're trying to catch up they're trying to figure out what's going on but this is this is one of those situations where I wouldn't use gift cards or I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase gift cards. If you if you've received gift cards from Christmas, I understand use them and hopefully they'll 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 be fine. But when it comes down to going and buying gift cards right now, I would hold off on that. Um all gift cards, really. I mean, these were some of these gift cards were Target gift cards and some of them were other gift cards like the Visa gift cards. But I, I personally would just shy away from using them at all, like going and buying them and using them. It's just, I mean, the, the security right now is not, is just not there. They don't have, I mean, they have people doing this. And like I said, back when I was working, you had the same thing. You had people doing this. It wasn't on a large scale and it looks like it's, it, you know, it's nationwide now, but they were still doing that and they were still getting away with doing it. And that same situation that I explained to you, how they just go in and take the cards and then they uh, put on a, you know, put on a different code on the back. That's been going on for a very, very long time. So the stores are going to have to catch up with this. I don't know. Maybe they're going to have to start locking up the gift cards until people actually put, you know, till they validate the gift card because uh, people are just going in there and taking, you don't think anything of it because if someone goes in and steals a gift card, First off, it's easy to put in your pocket and it doesn't have any value. So people might look at that and say, okay, yeah, they're stealing, but they're not gonna be able to do anything with those cards, but they're finding ways to do something with those cards by changing the numbers on the back. So 
really elaborate schemes that they're, they're, they're coming up with nowadays. So I wanna know what you guys think about this. Do you use gift cards? Do you buy them for your family and friends? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.